Hi, I'm Keisha Arsenault, and I'm here to answer a few questions about the learning pathways. The first question is, where are the learning pathways? Where can I find them? So up here you'll see that I'm at our EdTech website. It's ebrschoolsedtech.org. From there, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to the learning pathways and to the overview. The overview is really where you should get all of your initial information about the learning pathways. It has everything um, in one quick and easy um, page. So if you scroll down, it's going to introduce you to the learning pathways. So what are they? These are recommended individualized pathways to technology integration success. So it's going to help everybody to get on a pathway to success in terms of technology readiness and integration and a lot of other ed tech topics as well. So it takes you through the first three steps, which is take the survey, find your path, and develop your individualized professional development plan. I know that um, our pathways actually apply to everybody in our district, as does the survey, and that some, there are a few that don't actually make an individualized professional development plan, for example, our secretarial and clerical staff. However, that doesn't mean that they still can't take the survey and find their path and develop a plan to success for them as well. If you scroll down, it's going to take you through step one, which is taking the survey. It explains a little bit about it, and then you click here to actually take the survey. You continue scrolling down, and it's going to take you to step two. This helps you to understand your results a little bit better. There are benchmark levels from introductory, approaching basic, basic, mastery, and advanced um, that help you to better understand your, your score. Step three is to identify your pathway. You do this by selecting um, the pathway that best describes your position, whether you're office and school support staff, a school leader, a school technology facilitator, there's a pathway for each one of you. Step four involves creating your plan. And it talks about some strategies that you might use, whether you're going to look behind and ahead of your recommended courses, looking for overlaps in your pathways, prioritizing your pathways, or dividing your time equally so that nobody feels overwhelmed about their pathways. If you're still not sure, there are some short, short bios included here as well. For example, how a principal might use the pathways, how a veteran teacher might use the pathways, how a an office staff member might use the pathways and how a new teacher might use the pathways. Additionally, if you're ready to get started on your pathway, the link to Go Sign Me Up is here as well as the manual if there's anybody who is still unsure of how to use Go Sign Me Up to sign up for any of our courses in EBR. And if you still have questions, you can submit your questions here to the Ag Tech Q&A forum and you'll scroll down and you can actually see that there's already a topic started for Ag Tech Learning Pathways and a question submitted there. So we're happy to answer your questions about the pathways here on the forum.